Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to edit Roblox videos for completely free. This is compatible with iOS, Android, and pretty much every computer. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, the first thing I guess you need to do is go to my website, which will be linked in the description below. And on that website, there will be a link to the editor. So, you guys can either open this up on the web version, or you can download it to your computer using the Microsoft Store, or again, your phone, if you're going to use your phone. But once you guys have that downloaded, you guys are just going to open it up. When you guys first install it, it will take you to the sign into your account screen, and you guys are just going to click continue with Google. Now, if you already have an account, of course, I already have one, uh, but if you don't, you'll have to sign up. All right, so I just signed in, and now it's going to say you're almost good to go, and then it's going to take me back over to ClipChamp, and it should start logging me in. All right, so you should be on this good to see you again page, and you guys are going to click on this plus button right here, and it will take you into a new editor. All right, so the few things I'm going to have to explain real quick is this right here is what we call the timeline, and this is where we're going to drag all of our clips and stuff, where we're going to slice clips, where we're going to merge clips, all of that different stuff. So I actually need to clip to edit real quick, so I'm just going to go to my videos and find one. So I just dragged my uh, video in, and right now it's loading in. This is just some Roblox Bed Wars gameplay that I used in a video uh, that I saw on my computer, so we're going to be uh, editing with this. So while that's actually importing, I'm going to show you guys a few of the different tools and features. So on the side down here, this is your what you're going to use a lot for adding stuff to your video and then this is going to be more of like adding uh like changing specific features of the video so we got your media obviously we have record and create so this is useful if you need to do voiceovers if you want to do if you want to record your face i guess with the camera or if you want to add text to speech if you weren't talking in your video so the next thing we got is templates these are just like intros and outros for youtube different stuff like that which i don't really like to use that much in clip champ the next thing is i'm using an uh sfx so if you guys need music to add to your videos you can also use this if you need sound effects you can do that as well all right we also have stock videos uh some are free to use some are not I, again i don't really use stock videos but that's up to you guys uh there's also stock images which are basically the same thing as stock videos and then we have text so if you guys want to add text to screen there's like ones with animations ones that's just regular text uh which is pretty cool then we have graphics which again is kind of just like things you would add onto the screen if you drag it you got it's just like an image kind of but it might have like an animation or something it doesn't have an animation yeah this one has an animation that's basically what graphics are then we have transitions and this is how we transition transition from scene to scene this is the brand kit this just adds a lot more to this editor but it does cost money i'm pretty sure so that wouldn't really be any help in this video so to get started what we're going to do is we're going to drag in our video clip of uh me playing roblox bed wars it's just you know me playing roblox bed wars but there's a few things that we're going to actually do to this clip so to, as you guys can see whenever i started recording this i wanted to make sure i was recording so i click menu pop up so i want to remove that because i don't want that in the video i don't want them even knowing that i tried to make a menu pop up or anything like that so i'm going to click on s to split the clip and then I'm going to use this uh, zoom in button to zoom in and then I'm going to delete this clip. Okay, so as you guys can see, I still have like a few seconds of that. So I'm just going to click S again and delete that. So now that I uh, have this clip of just me playing now, uh, for, for right now, it's fine how it is. But let's say I just want to cut straight into the action or I want to like kind of cut this part out. I, for some reason, I don't want me walking on the bridge. I just kind of want to get to this part. I'm going to click on S, split the clips, delete them. Now, for the most part, this looks kind of like a pretty rough hut because I just like teleport there. So that is what you could use for transitions. So if you want to like have a cross fade it just drag that in there and then as you guys can see let's go here it would just fade over here now again that's not really the best thing and because this video has kind of no context it's just me editing a gameplay video this is a little bit harder to uh, explain but let's go into the uh, next few tools so if you guys didn't know you guys can actually click Control Z to undo that everything you have done or you can just click on this uh, undo button right here but let's say there's audio for this video we are gonna want to and let's say we want to turn it up all you guys have to do to turn it up is just you know turn the, the volume uh, spectrum thingy up here up. so if you also also want to detach your audio you guys can click detach audio and it will make a separate sound bar down here if you if you want to look at that while you're editing that this can be actually really helpful the reason why i actually didn't use clip champ for a while is because i couldn't see the audio waves but you guys can actually do that see now as you guys can see i wasn't actually talking in this video so there's nothing even there but that works the next thing that we're going to look at over here is the fade option and this will basically just fade in our clip whenever it starts or fade out our clip when it starts so if i actually go over here and play as you guys can see, it just faded into me playing, which looks pretty cool. Uh, and then again, as also fade out whenever I'm done with the recording. Let me, it will probably end with me uh, opening up the menu or something. Oh yeah, Roblox crash, and there we go. And then it just fades out. So that's the fade. The fade can be actually really helpful to, like if you're ending videos. So I would definitely recommend using that. It's kind of a subtle way, and it's not just like cut right to it. The next thing we're gonna be looking at is the filters tab, which this essentially allows you to kind of change uh, the color, the colors of your video. So there's a few that are VIP or premium, but most 
most of them are free like if you want deep fried you're going for a deep fried uh look back on this real quick there we go it's kind of you can like change the intensity and stuff like that so if you just want a little deep fried or if you want like all the way deep fried like that so it's, it's really up to you there's tons of different ones that you guys can go with black and white golden just there's there's a lot of different ones so the next thing we actually have is the adjust colors which is basically the same thing as filters but it's manually doing each thing like it's exposure it's contrast it's saturation it's temperature all of that different stuff also it's transparency so if you kind of want it to be like to kind of disappear or if you want it to have like another video behind it showing through that's what you could use that for and you can also change the blend mode uh, which is also interesting i think this is a newer feature then the last feature over here is we have the speed so you guys can actually speed up your videos if they're too fast too slow if you want to create like kind of like a time lapse so if i just like made this super fast like that i could watch it and it would be me going around dying basically over and over again and then yeah running to their base killing them all that different stuff so yeah that is the speed now there is actually a new feature called the captions and this will work if you have audio and yourself talking so in this case i actually don't but i'm turning on auto captions you can also get to filter profanity if you don't want uh like curse words in your video i guess so turn on auto captions now in this case there's not going to be anything because i was not talking in this video but captions will come up on your screen you can also edit the font all of that different stuff which is really nice um and it kind of helps you not have to put every single thing on the screen now a lot of times captions will be incorrect will be words that are like slightly off so you might have to go into the actual manuscript that will pop up over here and you might have to change a little bit of that you can also drag drag like multiple clips in the timeline like this so if you want this fire just standing on the screen for like no reason you could do that there's a lot of different things you can do in this editor and that's actually why i like it a lot so guys so another thing that you guys can actually do is if you need to crop an image you can do that as well or crop a video you can enlarge it if you need to uh it will double that tool right there will automatically enlarge it or you can scale it you can move it around on the screen which is really nice about this editor uh, i like it a lot you can flip horizontally you can make it like change perspective like if i go like this i can flip which side this on usually it would be on this side i can also flip what direction it is i can flip the orientation of it there's a lot of cool things you can do with this editor anyway guys that's pretty much it for this video if you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one